Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel and today's video is an update video on the Fidelity Rayo, the first one in three months. I don't even think you guys have even seen their new setup yet besides for uh, the like feeding video slash like lo-fi video that I posted not too long ago. These ants are doing absolutely amazing as per usual. Uh, generally I start off with the outworld but I guess today I might as well start out with the nests. So, the nests have been a little bit lacking in the brood department. I've kind of been trying to keep them stable, uh, seeing as in I will be gone uh, come, like, I think, next week? I'm gonna be gone for Arizona, so I really do not want them to be, like, exploding out of the nest or really growing out anymore. To be honest, I've been kind of that way for a while now. However, uh, these guys are some of the favorites on the channel, so I must update them so that uh, I can keep you guys happy. Now, the one thing that was a major uh, issue during the time of uh, between the last update is the fact that I had to move them and completely rebuild their entire setup. Now, that is an issue because this colony has around about 10,000 workers and I lost easily a thousand just disconnecting and reconnecting up tubes, uh, which was not fun at all. It really sucked, I was getting bit the entire time because I was just really, just completely putting together a brand new uh, way of setting up their nests. Which as you saw in the video there, uh, they are all side by side now, so that way I can just drape the cord right over all three nests without needing to like do anything, you know, weird. However, although it was quite the uh, difficult thing to set up, I am very happy that I did so because it means now, uh, I can actually use a lot more of that heating cable instead of needing it to be draped across two different nests or three different nests that were all laid out very weirdly. Uh, it also leaves room for possibly connecting up a fourth nest if I so choose to continue expanding this colony. However, I probably will not because that sounds absolutely horrible. I like the size that they are at right now. I really do not want to deal with constant fairly ray escapes and uh, yeah. The colony has been eating like around about two roaches per day. I haven't really been feeding them that much because I'm not trying to grow them out, I'm trying to keep them steady. So the main diet for them is currently seeds because they can feed the seeds to the pupae, or sorry, the larvae, and also, you know, eat them themselves. Most of their diet in the wild does consist of seeds, so you can literally just have them idle pretty much on seeds. Uh, you know, in captivity. So that is pretty much what I've done. I just throw in a little bit of protein just so that the uh, larvae has something to munch on that isn't just seeds. Now, of course, I am going to have a uh, select person to actually come into the insect room and actually take care of the animals uh, because, I mean, if not, then, you know, there'd be issues. So <clears throat> their diet may end up changing a little bit, possibly. Uh, from just a few roaches to many roaches, uh, depending on what the person wants to do. Generally, I think that they shouldn't do that, and I shouldn't have to deal with a massive population boom like I did last time. However, there is still a chance uh, this colony definitely can and well could escape during that time as well, and I really hope not because that would just suck. I really am trying to get a uh, decent amount of videos out on the ant room before the trip, that way that I can just kind of that way you guys have something to uh, watch because I haven't really been doing a lot of ant room content because I've been doing a lot of anting and a lot of storm chasing. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of outside stuff recently, uh, but I know that you guys end up enjoying this, these videos a lot, sometimes more than those of the anting videos. And uh, yeah, so here you go. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, the colony is pretty much doing the exact same as they were uh, before the trip, uh, as they were before the move, except they have maybe like a thousand less workers, if that, no, not even anymore. If I did this like three, like I think two months ago, then yes, that would be the case. However, because I've done this uh, now, you know, they're, they're back up to their original numbers, so I don't even know why I said that. Anywho, that is pretty much all I have for updates as far as it goes with this colony. Uh, I do have still like quite a bit of a runtime here uh, because I recorded a bit too much footage, I think, for the update that I ended up doing. However, I'm going to let that run out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you like it. Just like, just like subscribe if you're new. Check out all the links in the description, Patreon, Discord, Instagram, all that stuff, and the other channels. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.